What's going on, guys? We're going to talk a little McHenry, uh, the Senate. We're going to talk about the Democrats uh, backing the bill, guys, uh, for the Republicans here for crypto. Let's get into it here, guys, real quick. Bitcoin, $1.30 trillion. Again, back up to 66K, guys. If we can close above 66 on the weekly, wow, that will be fantastic. We're going to have to stay on top of it, guys. Market's looking good. Up 7.4%. Absolutely love to see it, guys. All right, let's let's uh, let's get into this real quick. See what's going on with McHenry. He says, US, uh, sorry, U.S. House's McHenry says, Senate may be swayed if many Democrats back crypto bill. The House is set next week to vote on a wide range of bills uh, to set crypto regulations through. Its potential in the Senate remains murky, though its potential in the Senate remains murky, despite the optimism of its uh, proponents. The result of next week's expected vote on U.S. legislation to regulate the cryptocurrency industry will strongly influence the odds the U.S. Senate gets on board, said uh, Rep. Patrick McHenry the chair of the House Financial Services Committee and a lead advocate for crypto legislation in the waning months uh, of his career in Congress. Uh, The thing to watch, he suggests, is if a lot of Democrats show up to support the bill. McHenry, who is set to retire at the end of the year, has made uh, digital asset legislation a top priority for the end of his time on Capitol Hill, Uh, To that end, the House has recorded a number of recent cryptocurrency successes from the passage of several relevant bills through McHenry's committee to an advancement of the congressional effort to overturn Securities and Exchange Commission crypto's accounting policies. But uh, But chief among the House's digital asset endeavors is the Financial Innovation and Technology of the 21st Centuries Act, or FIT-21 which is headed towards a long-awaited vote for final approval in the House of Representatives in the coming days. That's the most comprehensive U.S. crypto bill to move thus far through Congress. If it's approved in the bipartisan vote in the House, uh, will represent a high watermark for the industry's efforts in Washington. Quote, we will have a, this bill on, uh, on the House floor next week to vote, McHenry said, at the DC blockchain summit on Wednesday, the outcome of that vote will dictate what kind of attention it'll get in the Senate and whether or not we can get something done. However, the bill isn't expected to find a ready match in the Senate um, so far, meaning it wouldn't immediately be on the path to becoming law. However, McHenry suggested, who knows what's going to happen in this uh, in the so-called lame duck session of Congress between the November election and the end of the session uh, when legislation has a way of ha- uh, hitching a ride on unrelated bills. Rep. French Hill, uh, who has who, who heads a crypto subcommittee and is among the candidates who would replace McHenry in his chair chairman seat, sorry, said that the same event on Wednesday said at the same event on Wednesday that his optimistic uh, that he's optimistic about the outcome of the House vote on FIT21. One of the biggest reasons 21 Democrats chose to vote in favor of the overturning the SEC's controversial crypto accounting provision, Staff Accounting Bulletin uh, 121 or SAB 121, despite President Joe Biden's threat to veto the effort. I'm optimistic and I expect strong Democratic support, Hill said, of the FIT21. <laughs> This one is about the future. Uh, Hill said it's also it also answers President Biden's executive order from earlier in his term that called for legislation in this space. McHenry, McHenry agreed that getting so many Democrats to buck the White House uh, and SEC on the accounting rule was a significant thing. At least one Senate Democrat, New York, Kristen Gillibrand, uh, or Gillibrand, sorry, uh, has said she supports the revol- uh, resolution to overturn the bulletin when it comes up for a vote on Thursday. Uh, guys, if you're unsure about what Fit uh, 121 or Fit 21 is, basically to sum it up as quickly as I can, they're talking about in this bill granting jurisdiction over digital assets to the CFTC. Um, 
And it also uh, specifies that uh, digital assets sold on the secondary market, i.e. crypto and, and, uh, and NFTs, things like that, are declared legally in this legislation, not securities, which means that every single case that Gary Gensler has going right now is thrown out of court. He cannot sue any more exchanges. He cannot sue. He cannot throw random altcoins into lawsuits anymore uh, when he's suing exchanges and stuff. And it grants the SEC jurisdiction over uh, crypto projects that have done uh, ICOs and things like that, because those are uh, initial coin offerings are actually wrapped up as security sales. So that's what the SEC would have control over. And the CFTC would have control over the rest, essentially, right? So we could go on and uh, th this industry can flourish, essentially, is what the bill is. So everybody wins, except Gary Gensler and Elizabeth Warren, right? Let me know what you guys think, guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, click the join button to become a VIP member of the channel. Join the Patreon, guys. You don't want to miss what's going on over there. We got a lot of great stuff happening. Uh, follow me on X. Like and subscribe once again. I'll see you in the next one, guys.